Till now we have looked at dislocation in general. Now onwards we will be looking at dislocations with respect to crystal structures, especially dislocations in abscessic crystal structure. So I have shown common crystal structures like abscc, bcc and hcp. So you know that this is an abscc crystal structure where there are atoms at the lattice points which are at corners and on the face centers where in case of bcc you have atoms at corners and at the body center in hcp you have seen the atoms are arranged in a hexagonal way where you have a b layer in between two a layers we'll be seeing we'll be looking at these structures more carefully as we go on here let's look at what are the slip systems in this crystal structure let's rebrush we have already seen this but let's rebrush these slip systems in abcc bcc and hcp crystal structures for metals such as copper aluminum nickel silver gold which have abcc structures so you have slip plane as 111 slip plane and slip direction as 110 directions and the number of slip systems are 12 so you can see that this is 111 plane and it contains three slip directions similarly we have four slip planes like this and each slip plane contains three slip directions which accounts for 12 slip systems in case of bcc you can see that you have 110 as a slip plane and which contains two slip directions which are of 111 type and which accounts for 12 number of slip systems. There are other slip planes and the slip directions remains the same and total slip systems for BCC comes out to be 48. In case of HCP, you can see that the slip system will comprises of 0001 plane and the direction is 11 bar 20 direction, which are three directions which are lying in this 0001 plane, which is a basal plane and the slip systems will be 3. There are other slip systems in case of HCP like 10 bar 10 and the slip direction remains 11 bar 20 only and other slip planes such as 10 bar 11 and slip direction also remains here same that is 11 bar 20. Now let's look at slip systems in FCC. So as I mentioned you have 4 111 plane which are marked here and each 111 plane contains three slip directions and their indices also mentioned here and if i consider as slip systems number of slip systems the total slip systems will be 12 so we have 12 slip systems in case of fcc now we'll be looking at uh, for bcc we'll be majorly concerned about this slip system let me mark it here so we'll be concerned about this slip system in case of BCC in case of HCP will become considering this slip system. So you have 6 110 plane which contains two slip directions and which accounts for 12 number of slip systems. Here you have one slip plane that is basal plane and three slip directions and thus it has three slip systems. So with this brief introduction let's understand the ductility in this kind of crystal structures. So this is known as von Mises criteria where it relates ductility with independent slip systems. So what it says, the ductility of material depends on its ability to withstand a general homogeneous strain involving an arbitrary shape change. So let's consider, let me write it here. So you have you have let's say any shape here and it can go under any arbitrary shape change something like this so this can be this can happen only when the material can, has ability to undergo homogeneous strain which involves arbitrary shape change and this can happen only when the von Mises postulated that this will happen only when there are five independent slip systems and how he has come to this we will not be looking at in depth how to get this five independent slip system but we will try to understand why this five independent slip system number has come so we have a strain tensor we know that it has nine components 
and out of nine, six are independent strain components. This we have seen because this strain tensor remains symmetric and thus we have six independent strain components. What are those strain components? So these are strain components 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So these are six strain components which are independent. Now when we consider a plastic deformation in a material, what we consider is that there is a constancy of volume. There is no change in volume. That is what we consider when there is a plastic deformation material and this put a constraint on these three strain components such as epsilon xx plus epsilon yy plus epsilon zz must be equal to zero. This condition must be satisfied when there is a constancy of volume and thus out of the six components how many will be independent now when there is a constancy of volume or there is a plastic deformation? So let's say if I know sigma epsilon, sorry, epsilon xx and epsilon yy, I can find out epsilon zz. So if I know any of the two strain components, I can find out the third component. So out of these three, two are only independent and one is dependent. So out of the six independent strain components, what is the strain components will be reduced to five independent strain components when we consider a plastic deformation that is when we consider a constancy of volume and thus we have five independent slip systems when we consider a plastic deformation so what do you mean by independent slip system so that is defined as one producing a crystal shape change that cannot be reproduced by another slip system we will be looking at this in the subsequent slide. Now when Taylor calculated out of 12 possible slip systems, we have seen 12 possible slip systems for FCC and BCC, 5 are independent and hence BCC and FCC metal show good ductility. We need 5 independent slip systems to accommodate any shape change that is a von Mises criteria and FCC and BCC crystal structure satisfies this criteria of five independent slip system thus they show good ductility. In case of HCP we have seen that on a basal plane or a prismatic plane system only two are independent out of three slip systems and thus HCP metals lacks in ductility and need twinning. We will be looking at twinning mechanism in our course as we go along. And this is the reason why FCC and BCC show good ductility as compared to HCP. And we need five independent slip system to accommodate any shape change or to have a ductility. This is a very important point. Now let's look at what are independent slip system. So when I say independent slip system, that means for any arbitrary shape change, the five system must be independent in the sense that the shear on any one cannot be produced by a combination of shear on the other four. So let's say I have five independent slip system. Let's say I mark it here one, two, three, four, and five. These are slip systems. And so when I produce a shear because of the slip on one slip system, this shear, this shear cannot be produced by combination of shears produced by these four remaining four slip system. So that is what is meaning of an independent slip system. So shear developed by this slip system cannot be produced by combination, any combination of this remaining four slip system. And let's look at some of the conditions where we don't have, where the slip systems are not independent. So here in this case, you have, let me write it down, you have three slip directions lying in one slip plane. So let us write it down, three directions, one slip plane. So this condition is not, and this will never produce an independent slip systems. Here in this case, we have three slip planes which has a common slip directions. Let us write that down also. Three slip planes with common 
slip direction. Here in this case, you have two slip directions lying in two planes and the fifth slip direction is lying parallel to the intersection of these two planes. So let us write them that fifth slip direction in plane parallel to intersection of two planes and here in this case the last case where we have two slip directions in two different planes and the fifth slip direction is perpendicular to the intersection of these two planes so let let us mark that out fifth slip direction perpendicular to intersection of two slip planes and I want you to do is find out this kind of conditions out of 12 slip systems in FCC let us write that down also out of 12 slip systems in FCC five are independent that is what we know so we can say that seven are independent and thus find out the seven dependent slip system based on this criteria so before winding up winding it up let me reiterate or write it down you need five independent slip system slip systems to have ductility or to accommodate any arbitrary shape change this is very important point and with this i will stop here